Chairman. Thank you, Chairman Powell, for being here. And I can't resist responding to a few things that um, my friends on the left have said. For example, in his opening statement, Chairman Brown had a long list of things that raising interest rates won't do. Interest rates, interest raising interest rates won't fill in the blank. I'm going to fill in the blank with a couple things. How about raising interest rates won't stop Senate Democrats and President Biden from overtaxing, overspending, overborrowing, overregulating? Chairman Brown said we should rebuild our supply chain by curbing offshoring, corporate offshoring. I agree. He talked a lot about corporate greed contributing to inflation. Okay. But how about regulatory greed contributing to corporate greed? How do you expect corporations to reinvest money if you overregulate their ability to invest that money right here in the United States of America? You want to onshore some things? How about energy policy? How about instead of looking to Venezuela or Iran for oil supply or Russia, or rather than looking to China for electric vehicles and chips and, and um, solar panels, how about we have a strategy that onshores those things by reducing regulation, reducing taxes, and letting those corporations reinvest their profits rather than, than um, you know, stock buybacks or, 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 or uh, dividends? This idea that somehow the Federal Reserve is supposed to keep inflation in check while half of the government works against it is mind-boggling. Now, I know, Mr. Chairman, you don't like to comment on policy. You and I have been around and around about this. You were anxious to, to advise us to spend lots of money during the pandemic. I don't think a lot of people blame you for that. You wouldn't respond to, to um, efforts by the Biden administration after we were in a robust recovery from not spending so much money. Okay, I can appreciate the change. But now we're in this debate between Republicans and Democrats, between particularly the House Speaker and the President, on how to raise the debt ceiling. And you've made some pretty strong comments about raising the debt ceiling, absent from structural reforms that would actually help us get back to a reasonable growth. Uh, and, and so I, I just, I, I warn you again, if you're gonna make political comments, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna advise us on policy, be consistent with it. Now, I wanna get back to the greening of the Federal Reserve and this, these, I call them stress tests, you can call them whatever we, we call them. But I'm concerned that now the Federal Reserve is starting down this path, maybe it's slightly at first, uh, about, about climate stress testing. I just want to ask you this. If we're going to go down that path, if the Federal Reserve is now going to become part of the, the Federal Climate Police Force, are we going to consider the ramifications of having entire communities and economies, factories and manufacturers, um, you know, whatever energy ent entities, um, large server farms, leaving them susceptible to a very unreliable, very expensive energy source. Is that part of the stress test? No, that, those are considerations for elected people, not for us. We have, a, we have a narrow, narrow role to play here, but it's a real role, and I can talk about that if you'd like. Well, I, yeah, I would, 